afternoon our listeners welcome on our video today uh, today we are dealing with the Eastern government and uh, this one is paper 2 out of 100 marks uh, this paper is out of 100 marks you can see we have very many questions here and answers for you uh, this paper is very important for you uh, to listen uh, from the start up to the end because some of these questions you might find them you might find them in a kcse or any exam that you are going to do whether cut whether midterm or end of term exam and uh, once you listen from us uh, we believe that uh, the discussion or the content are stick in your mind because we explain in a very nice way such that you can understand we also guide you on how to answer different questions how to approach them in this channel uh, this channel has over 400 videos which you can refer to whenever you want to revise and for example like this paper we are not going to take long eh? we are not going to take long we are going to take a very few minutes and uh, we will do uh, the whole paper out of 100 marks if this is your first time to watch our videos kindly take this time subscribe to this channel uh, like this video and it will be recommended to other viewers uh, to the subscribers we want to take this opportunity to thank you guys for the support that you have given us and as you can see down here uh, this channel has grown you can see we are very many right now and because uh, you agreed to support us now let us go to the questions today and as you know uh, paper 2 deals with the history outside Kenya deals with the history outside Kenya there is no question that you will find in paper 2 history and dealing with Kenya all the questions are outside Kenya paper 1 we said it is it is in Kenya history Kenyan history that is then we have section A this one it has 25 marks from there we have section B this one it has 45 marks as you can see then the last section it has uh, 30 marks it has 30 marks I want to show you yes it is here 30 marks and you are given uh, questions for you to choose therefore we also advise the students to choose the questions wisely eh? get somewhere where you can write uh, your answers in short form before you decide which questions you are going to answer let's go to question number one uh, section a you are told to give the meaning of uh, the word social history social history is a branch of history that deals with the traditions values and cultural practices of a people question number two identify two archaeological sources of information on history and government number one weapons used by man number two remains of human or animals next plant remains next garments next coin used coins used by man next settlement or ruins of the past or rock paintings another one is tools used by man and next question question number three you're told to give two characteristics of homo erectus homo erectus characteristics walked uprightly next and more undeveloped hands for grasp, grasping tools next and bigger skull next and long protruding jaws next was more intelligent intelligent than earlier apes next and bigger brain capacity than his predecessor question number four you're told give one reason why early man 
give a reason why Aleman moved from the forest to settle in the grasslands. Number one, there were more wild animals in the grassland available for food. Next, the climate in the grassland was warmer. Next, the grassland provided the much needed water. Number five, list two negative effect of land enclosure system in Britain during 18th century. Uh, enclosure system displaced the poor people or it created landlessness. Number two, it forced people it forced poor people to migrate to urban centers. Then the last, it increased poverty in Europe. Number six. Number six. Identify two methods of trade. We have butter trade and currency trade. Number seven. Identify the main item of trade from West Africa during the Trans Saharan trade. That one was gold. Number eight, the main use of steam power during the Industrial Revolution in Europe. That one is driving engines, then driving machines in industries. That's how the steam power was used. And next, name one one reason that led to the decline of Merwe as an early urban center. Uh, the rise of Auxum Kingdom, which developed east of Meru, denied Meru access to Rand Sea, causing decline of trade. Next, the king of Auxum subdued and destroyed Meru. Next, the sanctification due to deforestation, deforestation led to decline of food supply for her people. We go to question number 10. Remember we said we are moving very fast. Name the main factor that uh, uh, unified the communities of the Shona kingdom during the pre-colonial period. Main factor. That one is the Mwarik religious cult or Mlimo cult or religion. If you write one of the three answers, you get it correct. Question number 10. State two ways through which the European maintained people among themselves during the partition of Africa. The question should be uh, two ways through which the European maintained peace among themselves during the partition of Africa. How do they uh, maintain peace? Number one, by signing, uh, by signing treaties among themselves all agreements number two by organizing berlin conference to lay down the guiding principles of party part, part, uh, partition number 12 name one treaty side between the bengula and the british during the process of colonization of africa signed by Lobengula and british we have number one, the Moffat Treaty, and then the Rood Concession. This question is very common. They keep on repeating. Question number 13, state two objectives of the African Congress in South Africa. What were the two objectives of the African Congress, that party? To unite all black people to win a majority rule in South Africa. Number two, to encourage a united interracial interracial activities or oppose ratio and ratio eh? to encourage a united and ratio activities or oppose racial discrimination next to remove all forms of injustices e.g. economic exploitation next to win a vote and frankness for all the people of South Africa. Next, number 14, name two nations which were member of Triple Entente during the First World War. That one is Britain, Russia, and France. Number 15, 
uh, what is veto power as used by the United Nations? What is veto power? This one is also very common. Is a decision. Is a is a decision. A decision cannot be adopted if any of the permanent of Security Councils vote against the state. Do you remember the five permanent members? You should remember them. Number sixteen. Identify two African leader leaders who attempted the fifth who attended the fifth pan-african congress in 1945 to leader two african leaders who attended fifth pan-african congress in 1945 we have jomo kenyatta julius nyerere kwame Nkrumah, leopold singo kamuzu banda mnandi azikwe peter abrahams number 17 name one english speaking member countries of the economic community of west african states that is ECOWAS. we have liberia gambia eh, nigeria sierra leone next we are now going to section b where you are told answer any three questions from this section and uh, this one out of 45 uh, you get 45 marks and you are only given uh, you choose three questions each has 15 marks number 18 state three disadvantages of hunting as a economic activity in the early man of the early man it was difficult to locate or spot the animal number two animals are a threat dangerous to human next it requires many people next it is time consuming next it is tiresome or cumbersome next animals run faster than a man number next explain six benefits of settling in villages during the late stone age benefit of settling in village number one their security as people could protect themselves against enemies number two living as a large group enabled people to work together and accomplishing task with ease next settling in villages assured man of permanent dwellings thereby reducing movement next man growing crops thereby so man ended up growing crops thereby ensuring a regular food supply next it promoted interactions thereby increasing uh, social cohesion next enabled them to make better shelter shelters thus protecting themselves from harsh weather conditions next people are able to exchange goods or services and getting what they do not have next many domesticated man domesticated animals which provided animal products thereby reducing hunting activities number 19 give the reforms of print media used in communication uh, books or pamphlets number two newspaper next magazines next journal or periodicals next newsletter brochures next posters you go to the next one explain six ways in which the invention of railway protected industrialization in Europe explain six ways in which the invention of railway pro, uh, promoted six ways in which the invention of railway promoted industrialization in Europe this one is also very common our railway invention building of railway uh, facilitated uh, industrialization it facilitated the transportation of bulky and heavy raw materials to the industries number two it eased and speeded up 
uh, transportation of bulky manufactured goods to various markets in different parts of the world. Number three, it provided reliable and cheaper means of transport for workers and industries. Uh, next, uh, it facilitated the interaction of business people leading to investment in industry. Then it opened up mining and farming areas leading to exploitation of un untapped resources. Next, the revenue obtained from the use of uh, the railway uh, transport was used in investing in industry a source of revenue for uh, the government so railway was a source of revenue for the government number 19 name two effect of scientific inventions on medicine mm, this one is also very common it has led to discovery of preventive curative uh, medicine next it has led to population increase reducing uh, reduction of mortality rates next it has led to production of advanced medical equipment next it it has led to a manufacture of variety of drugs next it has created job opportunities we go to the next question let us deal with it down here where we can see it properly uh, explain six problems which South Africa has faced in the process of industrialization and these problems can be the same with other developing countries eh? the third world countries number one the imposition of economic sanctions which prevent her from trading with other countries number two the long period of apartheid cre uh, created on a created on a conducive environment for industrialization next competition from uh, other developed countries e.g. western europe which has a better quality manufactured uh, goods next industrial strikes demonstrations boycotts organized by trade unions lend to closure of some industries next high level of poverty which created inadequate market for manufactured goods due to low purchasing power next violence against foreigners has discouraged foreigners or foreign investment or foreign uh, foreign investors next hiv aids has affected the workforce in industries thus undermining industrial production next inadequate infrastructure in g transport and communication network number 20 and we are moving very fast you can see identify three roles which were played by kwame Nkrumah during the struggle for independence in ghana roles he played kwame Nkrumah. He started a newspaper which articulated African grievances. Number two, he formed conventions, People's Party, CPP, which mobilized people against the colonial rule. Next, he introduced party slogan, which urged people to support nationalists. Next, he held political rallies, which synthesized the people. Next, he he produced the country's flag next he led ghana to independence from britain we go to the next question and you are told explain the six factors that favored the success of frelimo very common question very common question explain six factors that favored the success of frelimo 
a nationalist in their quest for independence in Mozambique. They can ask you the factors that favored or challenges faced by Frelimo during the struggle for independence. So you should be uh, very careful. Also, you should not uh, run to answer questions without understanding them first because that is uh, one of the problems uh, that is uh, making our student to fail. So number one, use of guerrilla tactics to attack the Portuguese from different parts of the country as trade colonial resources. Number two, the local people were recruited in the army which outnumbered the Portuguese rulers. Next, Mozambique was highly forested thus providing a good cover for the guerrilla fighters uh, we are saying Mozambique was high, was highly forested thus providing a good cover for the guerrilla fighters uh, from Portuguese from Portuguese next Frelimo nationalists were working on a familiar grounds uh, which is also the opposite to the to the to the Portuguese they did not know the place well next nationalists were aided financially materially and morally by communist countries thus able to continue with the struggle next support by OAU inspired the nationalists to keep on the struggle next a Frelimo practice of setting up administrative structures in uh, liberated areas encouraged Africans in Mozambique to support uh, the struggle. Next, Frelimo fighters received a constant flow of information about the movement of the Portuguese troops. Next, Frelimo leaders were well organized, eh? coordinated the struggle effectively. Next, elimination of ethnic differences appealed to all Mozambique to join the common cause were united or the, the Mozambique were united. Next, the recognition of the role of women helped the nationalists to mobilize the communities to support the struggle. So women also helped the men in that struggle for independence. Let's go to section C. This is where you can score that marks easily. And you are told to select uh, two questions. Each it has how many marks? 15. Number one, you are told to identify three similarities between uh, the French and the British structure of administration in Africa during the colonial period. We can tell you to identify three similarities or differences. So you must be capable of answering that by reading. So number one, both head governors as the chief executive of the colony. Number two, the head provinces as administrative units. Next, both end districts as an administrative unit. Next, both end locations as administrative units. Next, both hand sub locations. Go to the next one. Explain six problems which were faced by nationalists in South Africa during the apartheid rule. Number one, they were harassed by security agents which demoralized them. Number two, political parties were banned, thus denying them right to associate or assemble. Next, they were forced to exile as they were as they feared to be uh, prosecuted. Next, the past law introduced by apartheid regime curtailed their movement. Next, the regime uh, censored publications which denied them the right to access to information. Next, their communities were divided among ethnic lines, thus hindering 
the formation of a united front. Next, inadequate funds made it difficult for them to undertake their activities effectively. Go to the next one. Uh, the nationalists were not united, creating division among them. And therefore, were not able to do the work effectively. Question number 22. Identify the reasons why the United States of America did not join the First World War until 1917. Very common question. It will be very difficult for you not to find this question in this year's exam. Number one, desire to abide by terms of Monroe Doctrine of 1823. Number two, fear of an outbreak of civil war between Americans and Germans, descents, and those of other European nationalists. Next. The war and not interfered with USA interest until uh, 1916. We go to the next question. Next question. You are told explain six impact of World War One. Very common also. This is a very common. Uh, you might find it in exam this year. And you should get everything because we have gone through them. Uh, it led to massive loss of human life as a conflict, as conflict between opposing camps. So many lives were lost. Number two, they led to displacement of people, thereby creating refugees. Uh, it is true when there is war, there is a displacement. Number next, there was a massive destruction of property. EG infrastructure. You can talk about roads, you can talk about buildings, railway, airport, etc. Next, it led to the use of huge sums of money, thereby weakening the economies of the countries involved. Next, it led to food shortages as the people could not engage in farming. Next, US emerged as the leading world power thus upsetting the, exist the existing balance of power in the world. Next, it led to the formation of the League of Nations to maintain world peace. Next, it led to the spread of dangerous diseases, e.g. STIs. Next, it led to advancement of surgery and pharmaceuticals manufacturing. Next, it led to emergence of new nations like Yugoslavia, Poland, Finland, Czechoslovakia, and Hungary. Next, name five major organs of the United Nations. This one is also very common. The organs of United Nations, you cannot miss a question here. They can ask you the functions of each of the organs of the United Nations or they can tell you to state major organs so you better understand this uh, question uh, the major organs of United Nations the General Assembly the Security Council the Secretariat the International Court of Justice the Economic and the Social Council Next, explain five causes of Cold War after 1945. What were the cause of a Cold War eh, after 1945? Answer is the disagreement between the Soviet Union and the United States of a reduction of arms led to arms race. Number two, the occupation of Eastern Europe by Soviet Union caused fear among USA and her allies in Western Europe. Next, ideological difference, ideological difference uh, pursued by USSR and USA created mistrust and suspicion among them, leading to hostility. Next, next, the 
domination of United Nations by United States of America and the Allies was checked by USSR through the use of a veto power, thus increasing tension. The involvement of both United States of America and USSR in European conflict in, in the 1940s created tension among them. Next, the Marshall Plan by America to revive European economies after war made USSR to, con to counter by forming a similar one, thus enhancing attention next formation of military alliance nato by usa and the allies led uh, usr and the allies forming a similar alliance leading to increased tension and uh, you can see we are through with this video we have discussed all the questions and uh, we believe that if they bring any question out of these ones then you'll be able to answer them perfectly and get all the answers you can uh, repeat you can uh, start again listening to this video so that you can get the concepts and yeah, because I have said this paper is very rich yeah, it has questions uh, that uh, that we can see they repeat they keep on repeating and I have told you even as we were discussing about them Therefore, this paper becomes very important as a part of uh, your revision. Uh, if you get time, you can uh, go back uh, several times so that you can understand it. I have told you, uh, you will find many questions in KCSC out of what we have just discussed. Uh, we, are prede we are predicting. We are predicting. Uh, uh, predicting that most likely you might get uh, several questions from this paper in your exam and uh, as we said earlier we have done many papers Eastern government papers and we have uploaded in this channel and also videos of other subjects biology is uh, geography business physics, chemistry, English, Kiswahili, set books. We have done very many videos and uh, in this channel uh, you can get them easily. Uh, you can revise easily. Uh, we are not taking much in, in, in revising the whole paper. Therefore, uh, when you want to do revision fast, within a few minutes, maybe a whole paper, you can come here and you can benefit out of this work if you have not yet subscribed take this uh, few minutes that are remaining uh, uh, click subscribe button like button and bell icon so that whenever we produce a video like this one uh, youtube will automatically notify you uh, to the subscribers we really want to thank you guys uh, for the support that you have given us this channel has grown this much uh, because of your support we also request you to write a comment for us if you want us to do anything maybe uh, to do a revision a certain paper or maybe a certain topic we can easily do that or we can direct you where you can find that video in this channel uh, we are very thankful for you have watched this video up to the end until this time.